Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. On this video, we are going to be talking about Summon because we just got the newest update, update 2018.26.3. So we just got it. We've been playing with it for a little bit. Uh, we also are going to talk about the other features that came with this update. But let's get into it with Summon. So one of the first things you got to do as soon as you update your app or your car, you do want to go to your settings because you do have to activate Summon on your car. It won't be automatically activated. So to do that, go to your settings. Uh, you are going to want to go to your autopilot. You'll see it there. It says Summon and it's beta. This is a beta version. You're going to want to turn it on you will be prompted that this is a beta version and is giving you a warning of objects that it cannot detect. And if you want more detailed information, you can always go to your owner's manual and it is gonna ask you one last time, do you want to enable summon while it is in beta? So for that you hit yes and it's activated. Now you can actually go to customize summon. More you're gonna want details. Bumper clearance. I have it set to 28 inches and if you mess around with it you'll see the car kind of move and it gives you a hint of what you're messing with. So I have a preset to 28 I'm gonna leave it at that. You can also mess with summon distance and it gives you a little hint of what it does right there. Uh, next feature will be side clearance. You can have it standard or tight and you can see the orange oval around the car. It changes so I mind standard require continuous press so on your phone that's basically and you know do you want to hold the forward button or reverse and the car's gonna start to boot up and start moving slowly or if you don't you can just hit it once and it'll do its own thing um, do this at your own risk I prefer to have it just as continuous press uh, use auto home link you do have to have this on if you want to have your garage connected with Summon. Basically what I did. Uh, mine's on. It's totally up to you. So make sure you have Summon on on your car first before you can use it on, on your actual phone. Another thing to have in mind guys, you do want to make sure you have your location turned on your phone. You will need that in order to have your Summon feature operate correctly. Uh, so now I am going to go ahead and hold the reverse button on my phone and automatically it's going to open the garage and I'm going to continue to hold it and it's going to flash its lights, boot up and go through, do its own thing. and you will see that the garage will close automatically once the car pulls itself out. So now we're gonna go ahead and get it pulled in. I'm gonna go ahead and hold the forward button on the car and the car is gonna automatically open the garage on its own and it's gonna pull itself in. In this case, we are able to see that the summon feature kind of failed. It didn't do what it was supposed to do, pull itself in. It'll do that here and there. It is a beta version. So in this case, I just let go of the forward button and I reheld it again. And then the car will start to boot up again and pull itself forward. So it's something to just have in mind. It is a beta version. They are learning with it and it is new to the Model 3.
if you are thinking of getting a performance model 3 you can now use our referral code to get free unlimited supercharging just like the model s and x okay so now to talk about some of the other updates that we got some of the other features that we got in this update which is the lock confirmation sound so when you walk away from your car after parking it it will beep and that way you know it's locked some other ones are as the speed limit mode this is perfect for parents especially because now you can set the speed limit between 50 to 90 miles per hour and this was done especially in memory of Barrett Riley we have autopilot now it says apply light force to steering wheel the instrument cluster traffic aware cruise control summon just like what we talked about right now now your model 3 can connect to available Wi-Fi which is awesome for those software updates has cabin overheat protection so this is already automatically activated when once you update your your software and this is so it won't exceed 105 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius for up to 12 hours after you exit your vehicle and last but not least it has collapsible alerts now if you click on the referral link below you can have a chance to race a tesla semi all you need to do is submit your email and that gives you and us a chance to race the tesla semi on the test track looking to buy a new model s model x or model 3 performance get free unlimited supercharging with our referral code below and don't forget to follow us on instagram and twitter at FY Tesla.